in this nail school. These seats will soon be filled with 10 students, all because one woman had a vision three years ago to give back to her community. Using a nail drill, Miranda Richardson cleans off her canvas. For the past decade, she's found a passion in helping people feel beautiful through her art. All over we have nail salons and we don't have an actual school that focuses on educating um, people about, you know, nails. This gap in our community was something Miranda knew three years ago she could change. Now, with the support of her family, she's about to open MJ Nails Academy, the first nail school in Tucson and first black owned in Arizona. Arizona. I feel like that's something that's necessary in Arizona. I don't feel like we have enough black owned businesses in general. We are setting something of the bar, you know, at a level that hasn't been set before. So to be the very first and to be black owned, I feel that now other women will say, you know what, that's something that I can do. There will be 10 students for the first class, some being homeless and vulnerable youth in our community. Allowing them to become financially sustainable. Yeah, absolutely. It's something that's a need, it's, it's, and without it, I feel like there will be a loss. Miranda is partnering with Desiree Cooks, a nonprofit IMU360, to create scholarships for those in need, giving them a chance to have something more. I feel like a lot of young women don't see themselves having that ability sometimes to have their own. They think that, you know, they have somebody else has to give it to them or they have to work for someone for so long in order to get it. But I don't feel like that. I feel like I can really help them achieve their goals. The fact that I know she's going to support those that need it, it, it has no choice but to grow. And I haven't seen that type of real love in any industry, you know what I mean, let alone in Tucson. So the fact that she does it, it's going straight through the roof. Definitely in five years, I see so many very powerful um, women that have now been given an opportunity that they wouldn't have had before without this school. Now, Miranda and Desiree are looking for donations from local businesses to help create these scholarships for vulnerable youth. If you're interested in donating, all the information is on our website, kgun9.com. Veronica Vernaccio, KGun9, on your side.